Okay guys, I've tested more than enough high-end stuff lately. So in order to provide some change, especially for those of you interested in building an extremely tight budget gaming PC, I decided to purchase two graphics cards, AMD's RX 550 and Nvidia's GT 1030, both the latest low-end GPUs on the market. But today I'll focus on this Sapphire Pulse Radian RX 550, the 2GB version. Pricing you ask, 95 US dollars currently. What's there to expect from this tiny GPU? The RX 550 is based on the Polaris 12 Flex XT GPU and by looking over the specs at first glance, this doesn't even seem too bad, you know? For being a very low budget card, I think Sapphire did a great job with the design. It's a very short card and doesn't come with an all too beefy cooler and stuff like that. It's kept simple, but still somewhat appealing aesthetically speaking. Obviously that's not a low profile GPU, but it is single slot. What I find to be pretty cool is the fact that we get a very decent amount of video outputs, DisplayPort, HDMI as well as DVI-D. And yeah, what else is there to say? Black PCB, oh and the fan turns itself off under light workloads, so that's nice too. Now that I've run out of things to say, we better get those benchmarks then, right? Alright, so obviously an RX 550 isn't really meant for gaming and doesn't allow for a great gaming experience, not even when lowering the graphics settings. Although some game tiles did run fairly well at 1080p even with a frame rate of almost or above 60fps. But clearly certain GPU hungry games really don't let the RX 550 or the GT 1030 shine. Just for the sake of it I even ran the benchmarks at 1440p. I know you must be thinking, that guy must have lost his mind. But honestly, I expected worse results, so gaming at 1080p with the RX 550 might be a challenge at times, depending on the game you're playing, but even with lower graphics settings you could do yourself a favor. If you however want a better smooth experience, I'd recommend lowering the resolution down to 1600x900 or even 720p. Some might be asking, but what's the deal with the 4GB version of the RX 550? In my opinion, don't even bother thinking of it. 2 gigabytes in this performance class is plenty and you really don't need more. In order to put the 2 gigabytes extra VRAM to good use, the GPU would have to be more powerful as well, which is not the case. With the GTX 960 as seen in the charts, it would make more sense to go for a 4 gigabyte version, but not with the RX 550 or GT 1030. The Sapphire Pulse runs extremely quiet, even at full load, temperatures are ok and the power consumption as expected, very low. Long story short, I didn't expect this thing to perform that well. However, you should only buy a GPU in this price range if you're on an extremely tight budget or if you don't have the intention to play AAA game titles, unless you of course don't mind lowering the in-game resolution and settings. Because let's be honest, the RX 550 is not a future-proof solution at all. Priced at $95, not too bad actually, I can recommend the Sapphire Pulse RX 550 and I'm giving it my silver award. And as always, thanks for watching.